we try to guide and protect our girls through the challenges of this unusual life in the spotlight. How we urge them to ignore those who question their father's citizenship or faith. How we insist that the hateful language they hear from public figures on TV does not represent the true spirit of this country. <laughs> How we explain that when someone is cruel or acts like a bully, you don't stoop to their level. No, our motto is, when they go low, we go high. <laughs> and make no mistake about it, this November, when we go to the polls, that is what we're deciding. Not Democrat or Republican, not left or right. No, in this election and every election is about who will have the power to shape our children for the next four or eight years of their lives. And I, I am here tonight because in this election, there is only one person who I trust with that responsibility. Only one person who I believe is truly qualified to be President of the United States, and that is our friend, Hillary Clinton. But here's the thing. What I admire most about Hillary is that she never buckles under pressure. She she never takes the easy way out. And Hillary Clinton has never quit on anything in her life. And when I think about the kind of president that I want for my girls and all our children, that's what I want. I want someone with the proven strength to persevere. Someone who knows this job and takes it seriously. Someone who understands that the issues a president faces are not black and white and cannot be boiled down to 140 characters. Look, because... Because when, when you have the nuclear codes at your fingertips, and the military in your command. You can't make snap decisions. You, you can't have a thin skin or a tendency to lash out. You need to be steady and measured and well-informed. I want a president who will teach our children that everyone in this country matters. A president who truly believes in the vision that our founders put forth all those years ago, that we are all created equal, each a beloved part of the great American story. And when crisis hits, we don't turn against each other. No, we, we listen to each other. We lean on each other because we are always stronger together. You see, Hillary understands that the president is about one thing and one thing only. It's about leaving something better for our kids. Leaders like Hillary Clinton, who has the guts and the grace to keep coming back and putting those cracks in that highest and hardest glass ceiling until she finally breaks through, lifting all of us along with her. That is the story of this country the story that has brought me to this stage tonight, the story of generations of people who felt the lash of bondage, the shame of servitude, the sting of segregation, but who kept on striving and hoping and doing what needed to be done so that today I wake up every morning in a house that was built by slaves. My daughters, two beautiful, intelligent black young women playing with their dogs on the White House lawn. And, be 
And because of Hillary Clinton, my daughters and all our sons and daughters now take for granted that a woman can be President of the United States. So in this election, we cannot sit back and hope that everything works out for the best. We cannot afford to be tired or frustrated or cynical. No, hear me. Between now and November, we need to do what we did eight years ago and four years ago. We need to knock on every door. We need to get out every vote. We need to pour every last ounce of our passion and our strength and our love for this country into electing Hillary Clinton as president of the United States of America. So let's get to work. Thank you all, and God bless.